What's up guys, I just watched the first game of the FIFA World Cup and I decided that I want to shoot a little video on how you can make tens of thousands of dollars in sales from these big events. So stick with me and you will learn how to do that. Alright, so when these big events take place, like for example the World Cup or other one-time events that just happen like every one, two, three, four years, there is always a huge, huge opportunity to make a ton of sales in this process because, because there is all this viral growth. Now, I remember two years ago with the European Cup, I had a partner who actually did exactly that and he had a online store, an online store where he sold all kind of um, football or soccer related products. So he had gadgets, he had the actual balls, he had shirts, he had all kind of things. And because of that viral growth and people were looking for these things all day long, he made a ton, a ton of sales. So tens of thousands or probably even hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales. Now, what's the thing? How can you do that for your own business? How can you benefit from something like that? and really make a ton of sales and cash in this time. This is what I wanna to explain to you right now. So first of all, one good thing that you can use in this case is Facebook groups. Now I know that recently um, people talk about Facebook groups, but it's especially effective with these one-time events. So if you find any Facebook groups, for example, right now for the World Cup, they typically have tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people in it. And here's the thing, if you know how to actually advertise your business in these groups, you can make a ton of sales. And this doesn't mean that you should go ahead and spam all these groups and spread your link like copy paste copy paste and shoot them everywhere um, you actually should go there you should answer questions you should participate in discussions you should post the link whenever it matters when people for example are asking for certain things like how can i um how can i buy the official ball for the for the world cup you should come up with a link and say something like hey um, this is my store here you can buy all these kind of things now of course this product has to be in your store then but um, whenever people are asking for something related to the World Cup and related to buying something you can go in you can uh, text them you can talk to them and in the end you can also post your link now as long as you do it the right way as long as you actually help people and help um, building that content you can really um, make sales and spread your link afterwards it's just very very important that you don't that you don't just um, go ahead and post your link everywhere without without saying anything, without mentioning um, anything. You should really go into these discussions and then you can post the link and actually get some sales from this very and absolutely free traffic method. The second thing is actually following hashtags on Instagram. So if you have your online store, let's stick to our example about the World Cup, you can, of course, and you should, build an Instagram community, an Instagram page for the store as well. And what you do now is you follow all kind of relevant hashtags for this um, event. So World Cup and, and um, I don't know, World Cup 2018, there might be all kind of hashtags. I didn't look them up now before the video, but there are always so, so many hashtags. And especially during the event or right before that, like a month before that already, um, you have so many posts that are made on these hashtags. And if you go ahead and you post something on these individual hashtags, like you have this hashtag and when you click on it, you have these nine different images and way more below that. When you go ahead, when you join the discussion, when you post something, again, answer questions, talk to people, uh, remind them that they can find something that they're looking for on your page, you can really go through all these different hashtags that are related to your business and you can um, get those people, again, entirely free. This is something also that, that Gary Vaynerchuk talks about um, and he calls it the $1.80 strategy because you're leaving your two cents on all of those pictures, making some comments, but it's exact, It's especially useful for e-commerce and especially useful during these event times where everyone is like super hyped and where everyone is, is in this event mode and many of these people are then also in buying mode. So another thing that you can do is in order to track those events and to really know when it's the peak, you can, for example, track keywords. You can go ahead to the Google Keyword Planner and you can see how the different keywords are performing right now. So you can track the search volume of a certain keyword, how it goes up and down. And when you see that it goes up and up and up. So for example, a lot of um, World Cup related queries, I, I didn't look them up for this video, like I said, but most likely they really build up to this point. So um, probably all kind of, 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 of soccer related uh, queries and World Cup related queries have built up from March to April to May now to June and probably now it's a real peak and we we'll probably see um, um, another peak in July. So this is really how you can spot if something is on the rise and if a trend and an event in this case is coming and you can really know and you can really understand as well um, when you should join. Typically the best, the best time to join is when this trend is on the rise 
now it's still of course possible because the the world cup just started but of course it would have been better if you do it even earlier so that you can position yourself in there before the actual world cup started so you should monitor monitor these keywords see when they go up and as soon as you see that they take off it could also be the olympics or any other kind of events um, you can really jump on this trend and you can use your store that you made for this particular event and you can use it to sell hundreds or even thousands of units every single day. Now you can also do something similar with Google Trends of course, so instead of monitoring keyword volume, you can go with Google Trends, which at least for broader terms is even easier to use. So you could just go ahead and use World Cup, see how the percentage um, changed from month to month or even week to week or whatever. So um, this is of course another thing that you can do. The keyword, the keyword thing is cool because you can also see your competition and things like that. So if you don't want to use these free traffic methods, you can go with, for example, Google AdWords. By the way, the course for that is in the description <coughs> if you want to use Google AdWords for this tactic. Um, you can also monitor like CPCs and you can find out how much you need to spend on these keywords. So this is a little side effect if you're using the Google Keyword Planner and not Google Trends. But in general, of course, to find something that is really on the rise, you can also use Google Trends and spot when these events are coming up, so when you should actually join them and come up with your store to sell these items. Now, a lot of you might be uh, curious now what to do with these stores once this event is over. Well, of course, you cannot really use a World Cup store after the World Cup. I mean, pr probably some people will still go there, and if you have some cool products, they also still buy them if they are not purely uh, World Cup 2018 related, but um, of course the majority, like probably 90-95% or more of the traffic will disappear once the World Cup is over. But to me it doesn't really matter, like you can set up a Shopify store, you can build everything, you can prepare everything and um, literally once it takes place, so like two months before the World Cup or something, you can launch it, you pay Shopify for two or three months and you, if you manage to get enough sales in this period, which is normally the case, like I told you about, uh, about the story from, from my partner, my friend, um, so two years ago, it doesn't really matter, right? So you built your store, it costs you a little bit of money to start it and it costs you a little bit of work to set everything up. But then if you make hundreds or thousands, uh, in, uh, hundreds of thousands transactions and so tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands in sales, it doesn't really matter if you have to close the store um, like two months after, right? So you could either then go on another trend and provide an exceptional customer experience for this particular trend, or you could just like pause your store and reopen it when something else uh, when something else emerges so that you then go ahead, go into the store and just build it for another purpose. Now the point here, as I just said, is that you should build an experience that is dedicated to this particular event. So if you are a store for the World Cup, your store should also be like designed that matches the World Cup. You should have all these different flags as a design probably. Um, probably also somehow show, uh, show that the, the World Cup takes place in Russia, so maybe some elements there as well. The point is that if you do something like that, you shouldn't just use Brooklyn theme, throw all the products in there, because if people really should buy from your site and not just Amazon in this case, this is even more important when it comes to those event-based stores. You should really give them something that they think uh, or that they um, then realize they should buy it from you because you provide the experience that they want to have when they are in this World Cup mode. So if you follow these principles, you may still be able to, to build a store for the World Cup now, but you will definitely be able to create a store and, and build something and build some uh, buzz around the next big event, whether this is a music festival or, um, or a big sports event or something else. So I hope that you like this little trick and this little info here. I hope that you really try it out. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any other videos. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.